Uh, yes, children, before we start reading uh, the next part of what we were doing from this uh, Mother's Day, let's have some discussion on a few aspects of the play. Before, uh, like, first of all, you'll tell me, like, imagine you go home. When you go home from school, imagine one day your mother is not there. What would you do? When you go home from school or from tuitions, after spending about five to six hours, you had been, you know, appearing in, for some test or exam, you were very tired. And when you go home, your mother is not there. And uh, she had not prepared your uh, uh, lunch. Uh, nothing is ready. Uh, even your, uh, you know, uh, uniform, your dress is not there, washed. Uh, even the kitchen is all disorderly or in, all in mess. What will you do? Yes, what would you do when your mother is not there and she has not done anything? No lunch, no dress, even the dishes have not been washed. Means nothing has been done. The whole thing is all in mess. So what would you do? Let me ask somebody. Raise hand the one who would like to answer. Yes, Mayank. Ma'am, uh, firstly, we will try to organize everything and uh, we will call mother and ask her about what happened. Hmm. Okay, so yes, Mayank, that is right. First of all, I guess you said like first you will uh, organize the things. You'll set the house. Then afterwards, you'll call your mother and you'll ask her the whereabouts. You'll ask her like if everything is fine. Because usually you might feel like your mother doesn't leave the house like this. So something might have happened. So in uh, you'll call her to see, to ask if everything is fine. So you'll be concerned about her well-being or, or otherwise, right? Okay, what else? Okay, in case children, uh, suppose one day you go home, uh, you had been there out, uh, you had been preparing for an exam previous day and you have been appearing for the exam and when you reach home you're very tired and when you reach home you see that your mother is uh, you know uh, mother is you know having a chat with her friends her some uh, childhood friends have come up and uh, she's having uh, a good time with them but there is uh, nothing ready for you not your dinner not your lunch your means no snacks nothing is ready and even the house is uh, you know kitchen is all topsy-turvy what would you do then? Then your mother is having some good time with her friends. But the things, nothing is ready for you. What would you do? Raise hand if you want to give the answer. Yes. Yes. What would you do if, if your mother has done, done nothing for you, but she is having a gala time with her friends? Okay, again, Mayank. Okay. No, after Mayank, I'll ask anyone else. Yes, Mayank. When we are tired, we will sleep. Yes. Please repeat. Mayank, yes, please repeat. Okay, Parmoth. Pramod, yes, give answer. Aditi. Aditi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Aditi, the question is, like when you go home, your mother is having a gala time with her childhood friends. So she is uh, talking, chatting, having a party with them, but there is nothing ready for you in the kitchen. What would you do? Um, um, I would let her chat with her friends mm -hmm. and probably wait for her mm -hmm. to make something for me. You'll wait for her, for what? What would you wait for her? When she's uh, 
done chatting with her friends maybe she'll make something for me or i'll ask her if i should make something for myself but why will you ask her if you can make something for yourself why would you ask her yes why would you ask your mother if you can have something for yourself yes come on give answer that is what sir was mm -hmm. yes if she is baby if she is uh, really that busy or if she really wants to talk to her friend i'll just go and make something for myself then friends are there in, in the house they are there and uh, she is uh, actually she is enjoying the time she is having a gala time with them the party is going on among them of course when party is going on gossiping would be there chatting would be there how can you expect with her if she would be free if she is actually busy she is actually busy what would you do then will you wait for her uh, wait for her and you'll ask her if you can do something for yourself so that this is what we need to change ourselves here is it right? so okay you can mute yourself aditi well done otherwise okay let us ask renika now renika renika please unmute yourself at the at least renika please unmute yourself i'm coming back to you divanshi all of you be ready to answer divanshi okay arshdeep singh roll number 6 arshdeep singh ashutosh roll number 11 ashutosh Yes, Ashutosh. Japan Jot Singh. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So, answer, please. Ma'am, we will uh, try to manage on our own at the first. And uh, although mother wo, uh, won't let uh, uh, their child to leave without eating or uh, uh, being hungry. Oh, what will you do? I'm not asking you what mother will feel. I'm asking you what would you do, Jivitesh, Amritpal. Yes, Amritpal. Amritpal. ओके चिराग आहूजा इट्स नॉट दैट योर आंसर शुड बी वेरी करेक्ट और वेरी अप टू डेट द पॉइंट इज लाइक व्हाट यू थिंक यू स्पीक अप इज इट इट यस अमृतपाल यू आर नॉट देयर अर्षदीप सिंह रोल नंबर 7 यस मैम so what what will be your response ma'am uh, ma'am uh, i uh, i will let my mother have fun with her friends and i will try to do everything on myself hmm. okay yes that's correct arshi okay now let me ask somebody jatin you answer yes ma'am yes jatin give answer and i will let her enjoy because she should also enjoy and i will uh, wait for uh, the food or enjoy uh, or order the food okay that's correct okay kavya roll number 25 yes ma'am mm -hmm. 
Ma'am, anyone can get angry even when he is tired or coming home after doing a lot of hard work. But I will not make my uh, mother uh, make my mother to tell or talk with her very angrily that Doris talked to her mother. I will just simply ask her even if anything is ready. If uh, nothing will be there, I will try to make it myself. Okay. So the point is, what many of you are able to, uh, you know, Mayank, yes. Ma'am, in this situation, if we don't know how to make food, I will easily imagine I am on diet. I will easily. Why you mute yourself instantly? Okay, uh, then this uh, Pragati. Yes, ma'am. Yes, what would be your response? Ma'am, I would quickly make something for me that is easy to cook and will get ready uh, in a brief amount of time. Okay, yes. Okay, let us ask one more child, Yashika. Yashika. Yes, Yashika, come on. Gursirat Singh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Bache. How are you now, Gursirat? Fine. Okay. So, what will be your response in that kind of situation? Um, uh, my, I will let her enjoy the day and she would also get a kind of entertainment in her busy life. Uh, for about the food, I will order it from outside or uh, eat something in my house present. Okay. Okay, well done. Uh, good Seerat, Bache. Yes, children, you people answered the... Uh, it was not a question, rather. It was... Uh, something uh, which usually happens in our house it is something uh, it's a sort of culture which we follow but one thing is like uh, at this kind you know what you should do is number one let your mother enjoy let her have fun first of all you people uh, you might have you should have feel felt better that my mother is also having fun right even mother has a hundred percent right to have fun uh, with her friends and all. And secondly, uh, because the guests are there, so she is there with her friends. She might have already managed the things for herself and for her friends. But for you also, there are her friends are guests. You can see if you can do something from your side to make arrangements for those guests. That is your duty. Because when your friends come, then your mother manages everything for you and your friends. So when her friends have come, then you can also do something from your side to do some arrangements for those guests. Then, as far as you are concerned, if you're very tired, it's okay. If you're tired, it's okay. Somebody was uh, telling that everybody gets uh, offended uh, when you go home because you're very tired. Why we people, that is what the culture which we people have been following right from ages. If somebody go, comes from outside and is tired, doesn't mean that somebody is sitting at home to fend us, to serve us, because the person at home might also be already tired. He might be more tired than what you are. Why do you expect that the person who is at home is not tired? Why, why do you expect that the person who is at home had been always free for you, to serve you, to see you? Okay, that is no point. Expecting anyone being free for you when you reach home is totally wrong, right? If somebody, when you are tired and when somebody is serving you, then you should be grateful to the person, but don't take it for granted that that person should be free when you reach home. So when your mother is with her, with her guests, then number one, uh, try, see like if she needs something, if you can do something for her, okay? If you are tired, doesn't matter. Okay, for family one, everybody has to stand up. Okay, because your mother, your parents also stand up for you when 
even when they are very tired. Similarly, the same rule should apply for you people also. Okay, doesn't matter you are tired, never mind. For some time, you also try to see like what should be done from your side for her or for her friends. Then uh, you can see if there is something which can be easily cooked by you for yourself. Doesn't, you need not ask your mother like, mom, is something ready? That is like making her realize that uh, she has not made something ready for you. Why to make her realize? You check yourself in the kitchen. If something is there, you can have it. If there is nothing, you can make something which can be easily cooked, as Pradati said. Okay, there are so many things which you people can cook, which you people should cook. Because you people are not very small babies. Okay, you people are about 16 or 17 years of age. Okay, by next year, you'll be eligible to give vote also. So, number one, accept the fact like you people are very responsible now and you need to take the full responsibility of yourself at least. And you, sh you should be equally responsible for your house also. Okay, if you people are uh, studying, then your mother is also doing hundreds of things. So if you are tired, your mother also has a right, right to be tired. And if she will take care of your uh, things, then you can also take care of parents' needs also. Let me not only talk about mother, I'm talking about father also, I'm talking about grandparents also. I'm, ta I'm talking about your siblings also. If you have a younger or elder brother or sister, you can be equally responsible for them also. The point is not that you leave your studies and you give your whole time to your work. Point is not this. The point is uh, standing up for the cause. When there is need, you should be there. You should be ready to serve. Point is not that you're serving. That is your duty. The way you think your mother's duty is to see you, similarly, your duty is also to see the family also. Okay? And when you will be up to something, then your parents themselves will stop you from doing the things and will tell you to study first. But at the same time, when you're studying, you can be, uh, if not 100%, you can be at least 2% responsible for the family. Is that clear? So please stop thinking that when you reach home, if you are very tired from outside, then uh, there is somebody at home to uh, tell you that yes, they are there. So please change your attitude, all of you. This is what we are learning from this play also. Okay, in this play, uh, the children, Doris and Cyril, don't try to copy Cyril and Doris. Try to learn from their mistakes. So now let's uh, continue with the play. Yes, we had done about... So father had come back and uh, we saw that Mr. Pearson came and uh, when he saw that uh, his daughter was in tears, uh, like a typical uh, father, he would ask his wife, like, why are my children crying? So Mrs. Uh, Pearson, that is the uh, wife, who is actually Mrs. Fitzgerald, she told him that uh, he can ask her. Okay. So then when George would see that his wife is having stout, then see his reaction. Stout is not a very hard drink, mind it. Okay, it's not actually the uh, very hard drink. So George Stout. So when he would see his wife having Stout, then the fact is that Mr. George uh, daily goes to club and enjoys wine there. Daily. And when he finds his wife also enjoying Stout, then see how will he react. Okay, when you are somewhat who, are, who is very, very pure in your deeds, then you have every right to tell your family not to indulge in the stupid things. But when one is himself indulging in all, all sorts of, you can say, um, stupid things, then how can that person ask his family to abstain themselves for, from that? So here, George, when he saw his wife having stout, his reaction is, stout? Yes. Amazed. What are you drinking stout for? Because I fancied some at this time of the day. Yes, what's wrong with it at this time of the day? So he's bewildered. Nothing, I suppose, Annie, but I have never seen you do it before. Well, you are seeing me now. So he's uh, with heavy distaste. Means he shows, uh, he, 
he shows that gesture through which it is clear like he doesn't like it who is asking you to tell her whether you like it or not why should mothers or why should the wives to do the things which their husband or which the children like so with heavy distaste yes and i don't like it then um, it doesn't look right i'm surprised at you well that ought to be a nice change for you what do you mean it must be some time since you were surprised at me george i don't like surprises i'm all for a steady going on you ought to know that by this time by the way uh, i forgot to tell you this morning i won't want any tea special snooker match night at uh, night special snooker match night at the club tonight and a bit of supper going so no tea uh, that's all right that's all right <clears throat> there isn't any astonished you mean you didn't get any any ready yes and a good thing too has it turned out so what has turned out children it has turned out means like it has come to be known that you don't want any tea so that's all very well but uh, suppose i had wanted some my goodness listen to this man annoyed because i don't get a tea for him that he doesn't even want ever tried that at the club tried what at the club going up to the bar and telling them you don't want a glass of beer but you are annoyed because they haven't already poured it out so mrs pearson says that what you are doing at home did you ever try this at the club also like what trying like you go to the bar and ask the man to uh, to uh, ask the man to and you tell them like you don't want a glass of beer and when they don't give you then you get annoyed like why did you pour it pour it try that on them and see what you get now george says i don't know what you're talking about they would laugh at you even more than they do now so mrs pearson says that when you will do this kind of thing in the club then they will laugh at you more than what they already do with you so the point is that people already make fun of you in the club and when you will do this kind of thing at the club they will you will become a more butt of laughter for them and this will be a shock miss for mr george because he doesn't know that people laugh at him in the club so laugh at me they don't laugh at me of course they do you ought to have found that out by this time so if people laugh at you then you should know this isn't it people usually laugh at somebody when there is something uh, funny about it isn't it so you ought to have found out, found that out by this time anybody else would have done so anyone would have come to know that one is being uh, laughed at by somebody you are one of their standing jokes famous they call you pompy ompy pearson because they think you are so slow and pompous so mrs pearson who is actually not mrs pearson she is the neighbor and she is telling mr george that he is a uh, he is a he is one of the favorite standing jokes of the people at club he is famous for being called as pompy ompy pearson why do people call him pompy ompy pearson because he is very pompous and he is very slow fat and slow so people call him pompy ompy pearson and they laugh at him but george never knew this why does if george doesn't know that people laugh at him at his back what does it show about him that he is not very intelligent he is not very smart then george horrified never so george is you know he could not ever expect this it's always be, uh, it it's always beaten me why you should want to spend so much time at a place where there are always laughing at you behind you a back and calling you names that's the point which mrs fitzgerald wanted to tell mr george mrs fitzgerald who is playing the role of person here she told george that he is uh, he is laughed at by others at the club why does she say this to tell him that if he spends his whole night all nights and all evenings in the club 
they are by leaving his wife and family behind then it is for nothing the point is value your family value your mothers value your wives value your own family because your family at least never makes fun of you and this mr george had been spending evening after evening night after night in the clubs with those people who were making fun of him and he never bothered to look after his wife he never bothered to spend time with his wife and children the ones who could have never have made fun of him so the neighbor is telling the person that you are made fun of so something when you also don't know your neighbors know it it's not that it is only mrs pizzarel who knows this it is true with almost everybody it's a universal fact so she says uh so it's always beaten me why you should want to spend so much of time at a place where they are always laughing at you behind your back and calling you names leaving your wife at home night after night instead of going out with her who doesn't is who doesn't make you look a fool now cyril enters right with a glass of milk in one hand and a thick slice of cake in the other so mind it mother did not bother to make something for cyril and did not even offer her him something and cyril is able to help himself he brings a glass of milk and a piece of cake for himself this is what should be the this is what should be done actually when mother has not done something for you because she is not your servant if she does something for you because she does you do does you a favor and sometimes if she does not do you a favor then you can do it yourself so cereal at least he did it for himself he at least brought a glass of milk and a slice of cake now george almost dazed turns to him appealingly so george at this remember who is george the husband so now by this time he is almost dazed totally he was like left blank why was he dazed because of what mrs pearson had told him got it what mrs pearson had told him that people make fun of him in the club and now when cyril comes then george will look at uh, this boy to take some support can you imagine what kind of support would he take from him can you imagine let's read george here cyril you have been with me to the club once or twice they don't laugh at me and call me pompy pompy person do they so george wants confirmation from his son he wants a confirmation like whether he, what his wife is saying if it is right or not because he thinks that, that his wife who has never been out how could she know this kind of thing so he asks the confirmation of this fact from his son and he says like sir you also went with you also accompanied me to club once or twice and you might be knowing very well that no one calls me pompy pompy person no one laughs at me then let's see what cyril would answer cyril embarrassed and hesitates then george becomes angry and he says go on tell me do they now cyril embarrassed well da yes dad i'm afraid they do so cyril says yes papa they make fun of you george slowly looks from one to the other staggered now by this time george is totally you know dazed and if he staggers he it appears as if he'll fall now or this george slowly well i'll be damned so he's shocked what makes him get shocked what makes him get shocked the reality the reality as to how is he uh, treated outside now george exits left slowly almost as if somebody had hit him over the his head now george exits he leaves the uh, room uh, it appears as if he had been hit hard on his head cyril after watching him go turns indignantly to mrs pearson now when cyril finds that his father is going and is so much shocked 
then uh, Cyril, you know, talks to mother in a very insulting manner. Again, a typical uh, family scene. Uh, basically, children very rarely in these kinds of families, children rarely respect their mother. And when mother says something to the father, then children are after their then children are after their mother. Like, how dare you uh, say something like this to our father? This is what Cyril will do now. Now you shouldn't have told him that, mom. That's not fair. You have hurt his feelings, mine too. So what is Cyril to say? That you should not have told Papa the reality. When you, when you have told him the reality, then you have hurt him. Right? Okay, we'll be continuing tomorrow from here. Okay, page number is 45. Up till there, be ready, okay?